Assalamu alaikum and welcome to everyone who's come and joined us today. Uh, you know, Jazakallah khair for coming. Um, as most of you guys are uh, probably aware, we've, uh, we're facing an increased um, existence of this Islamophobia type mentality today in Canada. And uh, we're seeing attacks in, uh, in, uh, you know, in this country on niqab. We're seeing attacks being done on the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on the Prophet, defamation of his character. And we're also experiencing this sort of heavy polarization uh, today that didn't exist before in Canada. And as we, as we know, regular people in Canada, they're generally a tolerant, they're a welcoming people. And they're now being um, uh, spoken to in a manner to try to make them more intolerant and you know, have this sort of bigotry type mentality that is alien to uh, the context here. So due to this situation, uh, we're trying to get the community together and we want to form an action plan on what we have to be doing and what we should be doing. And we want this to be discussion because we want to gather ideas and, and sort of have an idea of what we need to do to address this. Um, so for that reason, we've started sort of this, grass movement, uh, this grassroots movement uh, called Aware Muslim. Um, you know, we, we want to have discussions on you know, protection of our rights as Muslims and sort of what we can do going forward to um, you know, uh, address these sort of issues. Um, we all know, of course, the managing of affairs of people is, uh, is part of Islam. Uh, you know, we, in, in this society, they call it politics. But you know the Prophet ﷺ, he referred to this as siyasa in the hadith where he mentioned that you know this is the work of the Anbiya, this is the work of the Prophets, which is to manage the issues that come in the community and take leadership of them. So for us this is part of Islam and this is what we want to do to address these things. And you know many times we actually see in, uh, you know, in the community that you know not just here, in many places for the Muslims there you face a very really tough uh, political situation. And uh, we find that responding to it in a practical way and in a way that you know, is very deeply thought out and with sort of an enlightened view um, is, is difficult. And we uh, sometimes don't see this sort of um, you know, Islamic and deeply thought out perspective. So we're hoping to change this and we want to basically discuss how we can go forward defending our rights and, and, and discussing these things in, uh, in an intellectual way. Um, and, and inshallah we want to go forward using you know, all the different styles that are available, um, all the different platforms that you know, are effective to sort of get this discussion forward. Um, whether it's discussions like the one we're having here, um, you know, or we're looking at studying enlightened books or social media, community based um, outreach uh, and, and programs. Um, and, and basically any suggestion that any of us can come up with because again we have to address this sort of mindset that is starting to creep into society and if you don't address these things now uh, when they come back in a stronger way it becomes harder to address them and that's why this conversation is extremely important for us to have now <clears throat> so without any more delay uh, I don't want to spend too much time in this intro I, I'm gonna invite uh, you know our, uh, uh, our brother here uh, Abu Jafar to recite some verses of Quran before we begin talking Jazakallah khair. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وجاء السحرة فرعون قالوا إن لنا لأجرا إن كنا نحن الغالبين قال نعم وإنكم لمن المقربين قالوا يا موسى إما أن تلقي وإما أن نكون نحن الملقين قال ألقوا ما فلما ألقوا سحروا أعين الناس واسترهبوهم وجاءوا بسحر عظيم وأوحينا إلى موسى أن ألق عصاك فإذا هي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبطل ما كانوا يعملون فغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين وألقي السحرة ساجدين 
قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون قال فرعون آمنتم به قبل أن آذن لكم إن هذا لمكر مكرتموه في المدينة لتخرجوا منها أهلها فسوف تعلمون لأقطعن أيديكم وأرجلكم من خلاف ثم لأصلبنكم أجمعين قالوا إنا إلى ربنا منقلبون وما تنقم منا إلا أن آمنا بآيات ربنا إلا أن آمنا بآيات ربنا لما جاءتنا ربنا أفرغ علينا صبرا وتوفنا مسلمين صدق الله العظيم Jazakallah khair. So uh, we will begin. Um, so Brother Malik Datardina, who many of you already know, uh, he'll actually be leading our conversation going forward. Uh, just a little bit about him for those who don't. He is a senior manager at Deloitte. Um, he is a CA and a CISA. And CISA is basically a, it's a certification in information systems. And you know, if even that term is uh, vague to you, then it's basically dealing with cloud and these kind of analytical systems in, in the virtual. Uh, he's an adjunct professor at the University of Waterloo. Uh, he teaches uh, courses on systems reliabilities and computer-assisted audit techniques. Uh, at the CICA, he works on the IT Advisory Committee, um, and he assists with various projects in them, including podcasts and the IT implications on IFRS and these things. Um, he's contributed on publications on information integrity and on security. Uh, he is currently co-authoring um, the Information Integrity Controls Guideline, which will provide guidance in designing and uh, implementing information integrity controls. Um, he's been pretty active in the Muslim community for the past, uh, t oh, actually over 10 years, uh, talking about economics and, and finance and um, how these relate to um, uh, Islam and professional development. So with, uh, with that, inshallah, I'd invite uh, Brother Malik to come up. I just want to first uh, start off by saying uh, Jazakumullah khair for uh, coming out today. I know today is uh, Saturday and most, uh, most of us, uh, you know, either we have a family of ourselves or we belong to a family that, and we spend those Saturdays with, uh, with, with the family. And so, you know, may Allah award you immensely for sacrificing your time and effort to come and have this important discussion. So as, uh, as, 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 uh, as Osama mentioned at the outset, uh, sort of this is our, our topic today and this is the agenda that we will be uh, discussing. So, uh, you know, I'll begin with a call to action, discuss Islamophobia in Canada. We'll examine whether, you know, like a lot of, when I was driving in today, um, I saw a lot of signs from uh, one of the political parties and they had like stop Harper on, on the signs and, uh, you know, we'll be discussing is Harper really the, 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 the issue or is it, is it the system that's the issue? We'll look in terms of, uh, as you know, people who've tried to make change in the, uh, in, 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 in the society, uh, especially Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how did they make that change? What did they address? Uh, because a lot of people are telling us that, you know, you got Islamophobia, so let's go vote. That's going to change our situation. Uh, then we'll look at an action, a proposed action plan, which uh, you know, based on on what we've uh, looked at and what we what the you know study a, a deep study of reality will tell us a, an action plan that will work. Um, and then Anas, so he'll be walking through some kind of specifics of that action plan, and then we will have a Q and A and a discussion. 